Hi everyone. Um, what we're going to talk about today is uh, flattening the trajectory of a 223. Now I know uh, a lot of people out there have 223s and uh, uh, the numbers that I'm going to give you are basically uh, they're just a guide. You're going to have to go about uh, they're actually going to have to go out and uh, go to a range or go to an area where you can mark off the distances so that you can um, confirm uh, what I'm what I'm going to tell you. Uh, okay, the flattening tra trajectory. What does that mean? Well, we all know that the trajectory of a bullet is like a curve, and you cannot flatten it. All right, but you, what you can do, I call it flattening the trajectory, uh, simply because it basically uh, by having the right zero on your rifle you can shoot everything out to 400 yards or 500 yards if you want to take it further but we're only, we're only going to deal with 400 yards here today um, now the 223 the two most popular loads of course are your 55 grain and your 62 grain um, I'm going to talk about the 55 and the 62 grain. Now you can transfer this to a 44, a 40 grain bullet, or a 45 grain bullet, or a 53 grain bullet, or whatever. You just have to go out and do the work. Now, flattening the trajectory. What does that mean? Okay. Well, basically, uh, when I shot service rifle years ago, when I was in the military years ago, uh, we set up a zero on a rifle. Um, on our rifles and uh, basically that zero was a uh, 300 yard zero and that 300 yard zero would give us everything out to 400 by aiming off now aiming off is not perfect but I know that most of you do not have uh, competition grade scopes on your rifles and uh, you know if you're using one of those target scopes uh, with the knobs on them and you only paid 120 bucks for it, ain't going to do you any good. So basically you set up for, uh, you set up your zero and uh, you aim off. And uh, it's really quite simple. You need a 300 yard zero. Um, with a 300 yard, uh, with a 300 yard zero, you're able to make slight, you can, you can aim off slightly at the one, two, you're dead on at three, of course, and and four, and hit your target. Uh, the uh, I had to write this down because I'm going to be doing a lot of these. Uh, this one is for the two, two, three, but I'm also going to do others. So uh, the 55 grain bullet is standard load, two, two, three, um, traveling at 3,200 feet a second, which is I checked into it. It's pretty well the standard. It, it varies from ammunition to ammunition, of course. But if you set for a 300 yard zero, you will be 4.4 inches high at 100, 5.6 inches high at 200, dead on at zero, and you will be minus 15.1 inches at 400 yards. So basically, you know, if you if you have that, if you're shooting 55 grain ammo and you have a 300 yard zero, you know that you're going to be 4.4 inches low at 100, 5.6 inches at 200, and you're dead on at zero, and you're down minus 15 inches at 400. You can compensate for this, right? You don't have to make sight adjustments. Um, you know, basically what I would do, like when I shot service rifle, basically um, for this particular load, uh, I would shoot, I would, I, I got this number in my head, 5, 6, 0, minus 15. So that when I was shooting at the 100 yards, I knew that it was going to shoot 5 inches high. So I could compensate for that. Now, when I was shooting the 62 grain bullet, uh, which is traveling at 3,100 feet a second, 
uh, it's it actually it's a bit more aerodynamic than the 55 grain bullet so uh, it shoots at 100 4.2 at 200 5.2 at 0 at 300 0 and at 400 13.5 so basically I had a 4 5 0 13 for that load so I knew that all I had to do was aim you know, approximately four inches. Now, having said all that, the basic numbers, I'm putting them down in the description. Okay? And this is just a basic. This is not, this is not perfect. This is just, these are just numbers. You're going to have to do the work with your rifle and your ammunition and the distancing. All right, you cannot just go to a book and say magically, oh, these are the numbers, so this must be the reality. That's not how it works. There's so many variables. <coughs> Heat, cold, light, um, uh, wind, all this stuff. It makes a difference. I'm not going to talk about wind today, but I will be doing uh, 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 some wind tutorials later on. Now, so basically... What I'm saying here is that you can set up your rifle and shoot out to 400 yards without making any sight adjustments just by aiming up, aiming off. Pick an ammunition, pick a rifle, go to the range, and practice. All right? This is not something that you can just do out of a book. Right? And it's capable for any kind of ammunition. And uh, you'll uh, and I'm going to be going through um, a bunch of other ones, and you can check out the videos, check out my video list, and um, I'll have links. And like I said, I'll have these numbers down below in the description. Um, so anyway, I hope you, uh, I hope this was a bit of a help to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, till the next time.